Hey, Maria. Uh, I would love to know a little bit more about your background. So maybe you could just tell me a bit about yourself. How did you end up at Airslate and what's it like working in your department? Hi there. <laughs> I've been working here as an office manager for two and a half years. And before Airslate, I worked in aviation. I joined the team in January 2020 and immediately fell in love with it. Uh, by the way, <laughs> here is the funny story about how I knew it was good for me. Um, my favorite dog breed is a French Bulldog. And our team mascot <laughs> happened to be a French Bulldog as well. <laughs> so you can say it was a destiny. <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> and I have worked in office administration at our slate along with three other people, uh, which is not a big team actually. And uh, given the fact that we have more than 900 employees in, in the office, so mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I love a good French bulldog, our mascot's pretty cute. Um, <laughs> That's, that's cool. I didn't know you came from the aviation industry. Um, that sounds really cool. Um, do you, do you miss it there? Uh, to be honest, not really. I have almost the same responsibilities, except that there are no health risks here. <laughs> and it was pretty cool though. <laughs> I yeah. mean, um, seven years is a long time. Uh, mm -hmm. I was a senior fly flight attendant and uh, was on my way to becoming an instructor and tutoring uh, attendant. Um, mm. And uh, but I had this dream that I needed to, to try something else. So here I am at Airslate. <laughs> you say that with kind of a, a smile on your face. <laughs> Uh, frankly speaking, I don't recommend trusting your dreams because I came to the company at an interesting time. <laughs> after <laughs> months of work, <laughs> yeah, after months of work, COVID struck yep. and everyone switched to remote work. And who needs an office manager without an office? <laughs> but you could say that Airslate saved me because I learned how to make flows and aut automate forms and questionnaires. Uh, that was my main responsibility during the pandemic, since we had to do things like uh, monitor vaccination statuses and uh, do all sorts of related stuff to maintain the work from a uh, home transition. Yeah. Yeah, so the pandemic, you know, <clears throat> the pandemic hit uh, office administration in general pretty hard, even at a digital first company like, like Airslate. Um, tell me a bit more about your first experience using Airslate and the forms that sort of helped you get to where you are now. Okay, so one day I needed to collect some different types of information about our employees. At first, we wanted to use Google Forms, of course, <laughs> but then we thought uh, it will be more convenient to collect information with Airslate instead. The first time I tried using it was a total failure. <laughs> 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 the good thing is that I remembered that we had all of these step-by-step guide videos, so I glued myself to YouTube for a while. Uh, this is how I learned to, how to create forms and understood how it all works. Cool. So yeah. <laughs> tell me more about the, um, the failure. So the first and the biggest use case where I started using Airslate and failed <laughs> was the moment we launched our interna inter internal air slate delivery campaign during the current time. The idea was to kick off the monthly swag delivery to our employees to cheer them up. And at that time I set up the bot in a way that it uploaded information about all 900 employees into one single line in the spreadsheet, <laughs> which as you may guess, it's a total <laughs> fail. Uh, for that moment on, I learned how to set up the bots correctly. <laughs> and yeah, yeah uh, we'll learn only by making our own mistakes. No, it's true. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like you've been involved in a lot of different use cases at Airslate. And you know, given this, uh, what is the most common use case that allows you to bring automation uh, into the office admin role? 
the biggest case that comes across to many is order, ordering food. Uh, we provide quite a big menu for our employees uh, to pick from. Uh, when I first came to the company, we ordered a lot of food, and uh, which we eventually uh, donated to a shelter nearby. Uh, now, using the form, our guys can choose what kind of food they would want the next week. Mm. And this is not uh, wasting your food. This is very convenient because we don't have to guess the amount of food to order and people get to choose whatever they want to eat and uh, we have to no leftovers at the end and mm -hmm. yeah so using air slate made a considerable in improvement to mm -hmm. the entire process and saved a chunk of our budget and yeah, yeah. that's that's amazing um mm -hmm. how many forms would you say you use on a regular basis <laughs> yeah, good question. <laughs> I use at least five forms consistently and usually create a new form once a month. In general, I have more than 50 forms for different occasions. Uh, I also get asked by our account accountants to create flows for themselves in a while. So, yeah. There's this concept called citizen developer. Uh, which means that basically anyone with pretty much no technical background can start automating business processes. So I'm wondering how easy do you think it is for someone with, you know, maybe less of a tech background uh, to start using AirSlate? Uh, I would say it's quite easy. It all depends on how you explain it. Uh, there were times when I showed my colleagues how I design a flow and that was all I took for them to start mm. building their own flows. So it's mainly about uh, staying hungry for something new, mm -hmm. especially when everything starts working the way it should. Uh, that's how you get hooked on automation. Mm -hmm. uh, how long does it take to, you know, for you to set up a flow from, let's say, from the most difficult to the easiest? Um, primarily, I work with the simple ones like our slate swag delivery or food ordering flows. It takes a maximum of half an hour to set those flows and uh, a complex one can take about two hours. But okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that doesn't sound like too long. Um, do, you know, do you have any estimation of maybe how much time uh, these flows and automation in general have, have saved you? <laughs> Remember when I messed up with the bot configuration and had to transfer everything to a spreadsheet manually? <laughs> so, well, <laughs> yeah. I spent three days just sorting out all the information. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'd have to clone you or hire at least a couple of other people to help out with these flows. Um, <laughs> so that, that brings me to uh, an interesting thought, I guess. Like, do you think that automation helped you develop in your career path? Of course. Yeah. The impact is massive. AirSlate helps me to do multiple things uh, at once. For example, food orders, of course. If the orders uh, were processed manually, the employees would have to shoot me a DM messages. Mm. So with the orders that I'd have to manually put them into a spreadsheet, oh my God, I just want, don't want to think <laughs> about it. <laughs> uh, yes, but thanks to AirSlate, everything happens much faster in the same way with the help of AirSlate's delivery. Uh, we have a form in which the delivery method is filled out uh, via post service, self pickup, and et cetera. We also use conditional fields to collect this data, data which are very helpful for mm -hmm. scenarios with multiple options. Uh, with AirSlate, every flow, flow is fully automated and uh, that saves me so much headache. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah, trying to feed 900 people at a time uh, feels like a lot of responsibility for just one person to take on. Um, what, uh, in your mind, keeps people working in HR or office administration departments? Um, what, what keeps them from implementing automation? Do you have any advice for your colleagues or for other people who are in this type of role? Oh, well, automation is something new when it comes to HR and office administration. And AirSlate is a relatively new product as well. I think that people are afraid of trying something new. 
but they but hey it paid out well for me uh from leaving aviation to making my own clothes and becoming as you say a citizen developer <laughs> so uh, my piece of advice is don't be afraid and just go for it yeah i totally agree <laughs> yeah air slate oh, here is it <laughs> oh nice <laughs>